Hello, I am Chris Menard. In this Microsoft Teams video, I have a great video today about using the activity feed in Microsoft Teams and what triggers the activity feed. Believe it or not, nine different items will trigger that activity feed according to Microsoft. I will put a link to the Microsoft support article about the activity feed, but I'm going to tell you the really important ones you need to keep up with. Here's a tip for you. If you've never used Teams or you've recently started using Teams, when I pull up Teams in the morning, I start my day clicking on the activity feed. So I did this intentionally. I have two Teams accounts running, but only one's mine. So here I am. There's my profile picture. There's my name. Usually I would not have two Teams accounts running. But to show you the activity feed, I've also pulled up Carol Wilson so you can see what triggers an activity. So here we go. I know over on the left hand side, which is me, here's Teams. I've had some app mentions, which is the first thing I'm going to discuss. And then here is also my activity. So in the morning, I would have come here first and clicked. Clicking and going through these activities will turn this off in just one second. There it goes. So let's take a look at what causes this activity feed to light up and that number keeps increasing. So just to keep this easy, I'm going to go to Teams. I am a member of the Human Resources Teams and there are some of the channels we have down below. Carol Wilson is also a member of the Human Resources Teams and here's the channels again. She's got one hit and no big deal. Carol goes to the Benefits channel. So Carol's in Benefits and she's on Post. And she wants to do a new conversation about the benefits for the year 2022. So I'm making this up. Carol types in 2022. And for training purposes, if I have typos, I'm going to let them go. And occasionally I'll just type in a bunch of letters. So Carol wants to know in this conversation post, she wants to know, are the benefits going to change for 2022 for our insurance carrier? So that is what she types. But then she does what's called an at mention. It starts off with the at symbol. Everyone that's a member of this team will show up on Carol's screen. And there I am. So Carol is at mentioning me. It puts my name in that bluish or purplish font. So I am going to get an activity notice up in the top left. And because it's an at mention inside of a channel for a team, my teams is also going to have the at symbol. And maybe Carol is asking me, do I have the spreadsheet showing the different insurance carriers for benefits? So she types in a message. Everyone on the team can get to this. Everyone in the channel can get to this. But I got at mentioned. Watch this. Look over on my screen on the left. Look at the word teams. It's got the at symbol. And if you wait just a second, that activity will pop up to number one. There it is. So anytime you're at mentioned, you're going to get an activity notification. Also, because I got at mentioned inside of a team, that's why the team did it. So let's test this one more time before we leave, leave here. Teams again. Carol this time goes to recruitment. Does another conversation. And again, she's talking about something about recruitment, but she at mentions me again. My teams on the left should stay with the at symbol, but my activity should go to number two. Because now I have two at mentions. So every time you get at mentioned, it takes a second to catch up, it will keep going. So you can see why I start my day clicking on the activity feed in the top left. And then from there, by the way, I go to chats and usually it works its way down. Another item that caused your activity feed to go up, you can at mention, instead of just mentioning people, you can at mention the entire team, the human resources team. Again, I'm just making up stuff. So there's an at mention, that is number three. You can also at mention a channel. We have a channel in human resources called benefits. Look down here in the bottom right, Carol is mentioning the benefits channel. 
She has some questions about it. She's mentioning the entire channel. Notice my activity fee just keeps going up. It should be in the number four now, and there it is. So four app mentions, two were directly to me. One was for the team, one was for the channel. Some advice for you, it's the app mentions to you that you really need to pay attention to because usually someone is requesting something from you. Also, occasionally someone may use that, an app mention for praise, which is still good. Other items that will cause your app mention to go, and I've got one more, so there's nine items, and I'm only just going to do one more. If I start a conversation, so now I'm going to start the conversation. If you notice, just to show you this, Carol's a member of finance, and I'm a member of finance. I want to go to accounts receivable and start a new conversation. I mentioned something about accounts receivable. I just start a new conversation. Here's Carol. Hey, finance, accounts receivable. It's in bold because I just posted something. She clicks it. I started the conversation. So if Carol does a reply to it, notice my activity is four. I'm going to, I'm in that, I'm in the AR channel. I'm going to click on another channel just to show you this. Carol does a reply to my post about accounts receivable and she says something. It's my post. I'm the one that started that conversation. So my activity fee just went to the number five because it needs to let me know you've started a conversation, you've had replies to it. So there you go. The other items that you can, that will increase your activity feed or make them change, post you've liked, you are added to a team, you are made a team owner, because there's team owners, there's team members, and there's team guests. If you're made an owner, that will do it. Trending post, and the last one is suggested post. There you go. So now you know why the activity feed changes. And just so you know this, another tip from me, if you go to your activity feed, I just told you those app mentions are important. I'm on activity. You've got a filter here. And when you click it, I only want to filter... So those are all my at mentions. Those are critical. Uh, I'm going to close that filter. I'm going to do it again. Another one you can come in here and do. Anyone that's replied to me, if you recall, Carol replied to me a second ago. There's your replies. I'm not going to sit here and keep doing this. But just remember, you can come and filter your activity feed. All right. Reactions, in case you're wondering, last one. Reactions are people giving you a thumbs up or giving you a smiley face or laughing or something like that. If you want to see just your activity, that is my activity. So now that you know what activity does, the icon over in the sidebar, navigation bar, hopefully that'll help you start there in the morning. If you have any questions about Microsoft Teams, whether it's the activity feed or other team items, let me know. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.